How dare you call upon the life of such twisted atrocities? <laughs> the light is more vengeful than you deny will admit. Oh, more vengeful. Welcome back to uh, running in circles. Um, it's been a while. I know I took a week off. I was moving into a new house. Thank you, thank you. I had to do some things, and uh, sometimes it takes a little while to get internet back when you're doing that, so who would have guessed? But we're back, and we're on the new patch, and we're playing White Mane, one of two reworked heroes she and Junkrat got. Uh, not necessarily an overhaul, but they got some pretty wicked adjustments to their play styles, so we're going to try her out, see how she feels. I typically don't have the easiest time with White Mane because... She requires that you do a lot of free healing, and and then all your real healing comes from your damage, which is the rest of your kit. Like so. Um, so I just want to hit my buttons and they do healing. That's what I'm used to. That's how my brain works. But White Mane, you gotta hit a button and then hit all the buttons on people and hope that you get heals. So, it's, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, it's Dragonshire though, so this map is typically going to be a better White Mane map because she does want to be in a grouped up bunch of people. Four man uh, would be the most uh, the most efficient use of her abilities. Uh, you de don't want her ever doing camps, you just don't ever want her solo. You never ever ever want to have this character anywhere but with a group of people. Because as you can see right now, we can't do shit for damage to PvE stuff, and we cannot do really any healing at all uh, when that's the case either. Just trying to dismount people as they're coming through the bush there because we know what they want to do, and we just want to make it slower for them. So we've got the giants, they're pushing up. It's just me and Sylvanas at the moment. Asmo and Zag are doing middle lane stuff, I guess. Enemy team has got the dragon channeled so really we need to get in there and unchannel it. Zag is staying middle to deal with stuff which is good uh, at least she's kind of a deterrent. Sylvanas getting pulled in getting her some heals doing the damage still whipping out some auto attacks at the same time oh man this is tough so when you're playing white main uh, both before and now you have to do lots and 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 lots just huge amounts of stuff. You have to put your Q on people to heal them with your trait. You have to use your uh, mana efficiently because you can run out real fast by hitting your Q too many times on a single person. Or just period, sorry, just using your Q too many times. Uh, you have to land your E. It's got to hit groups of people uh, to get the most you know, amount out of that heal. And then you have to laser people, but you also have to pay attention to which laser. So are you going to use a good guy laser? You're going to use a bad guy laser. It's tough to tell. But anyway, uh, we're sieging up right now. We're only doing so many cues at a time because we want to retain a bit of our mana. We're at about half right now, trying to be very consistent with it. It's tough. It's really tough. Trying to slow down the Li Ming, uh, back her, peel her out of there a little bit. We do just that. Things are great. Our talent for a new white main build, I am uh, trying to go with the E build as best as I can remember. Because I haven't played in quite a while. Yeah, so what we're going to do is take Righteous Flame at 1. Uh, I took on Wavering Faith just to get the extra auto attack range, but I think I still would have liked Martyrdom better. Uh, then we're going to take at 7, Intercession. I'm going to go with Divine Reckoning at 10. We're going to pick up the Lashing Out at 13. Oh, here they come. Harsh Discipline at 16. This is where White Mane shines. So we got two people on the point right now. We need to put our trait on them. Sylvanas has got it. We're just going to keep auto attacking, flinging them auto attacks, throwing down our E. Oh, Artanis is standing on it, getting shields. We got two guys standing on the circle. Our heals have done 
enough. There's a little bit uh, touch and go there for a second, and Asma almost died again. So that's it's good. Anyway, um, harsh discipline used to be on 13. That's what I was gonna say there. And then at 20, uh, fanatical power. Just because I was giving it a shot in this game, and um, seeing if it would work the way that I wanted it to. Unfortunately, it's another button to add to your hotbar, and it does make things rather complicated. What I really should do, since I'm most used to it, is stick my cleanse on my one key and move my friendly laser beam to my two key. Oh man, he is super dead. He's got all the heals that I can give him because my stuff was on cooldown and I didn't have a whole lot of mana to begin with. That's a bummer. So we're just going to go back, get some mana back because obviously our character has built in mana issues. She's not allowed to do the things that she does for free. That's just about it. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to it. You're out having a wonderful time. Top. Just trying to get her out of there because I'm not entirely sure she wins against... Artanis. Maybe she does? Nah. She's getting out of there. Good on ya. Way to notice. Probably took you a little bit too long to notice, but that's okay. Don't back. You need to get all those minions before you leave. <laughs> Luckily, we have two extreme ass pushers in the bottom lane here. As long as we keep them healed up. Everything's going to be fine. We got ourselves a fort for pretty much free because the enemy team is all over the place trying to get different shit done. That's okay. We don't need them to concentrate. We just need... Uh, I don't I don't know what I was going to say there. Totally lost my train of thought. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, yeah, so Yorel's holding down the top lane real well against the Artanis. Obviously, getting that kill on him was pretty important. Getting a shrine is also pretty important, but at the same time, dragon isn't the most necessary objective in the game. Uh, one thing that a lot of people do on this map that is just really stupid is uh, die for early dragons and early shrines. Uh, you can let these go and when you do that, you are inviting uh, the enemy team to deal with you on other sides of the map. You don't ever have to just sit four people in the bottom lane and hold on to that shrine. That's just, it's not that important. As long as you have one and you're creating a focus for the enemy team to, to venture off to on another side of the map, wow, that seemed really stupid. You're going to do fine, so keep that in the back of your head. Stop trying to bum rush the shrines and the dragon and dying to do it. It's not that important. Back to White Bane. We've got our Divine Reckoning here. All of our cooldowns are available now. Try to get my team just to come do the, the thing because we can fight but they don't really seem super interested. Urel's fighting up at the top lane. Uh, Sylvanas is just kind of hanging out in the middle here. Zag's poking to Haka. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of different things going on and, and none of them are really contributing to the end of the game. So this is a lot of people who don't actually have any idea what to do on both our team and the enemy team to get the game going. Oh my god! Wow, yep, yeah, that was a crazy late cleanse. And I'm probably gonna die for that as well. Looks like it. Really wasn't expecting the Ring of Frost on top of all that stuff, but hey, you know, I guess you gotta be sure.
Doing the camps right now, Jahake is taking the bottom shrine. Looks like Asbo's got the uh, middle lane on lockdown for the moment. Picking up the Giants. Yurel getting away in the top lane. And now we're waiting. Making sure enemy team can't get... Uh, can't get the dragon for free because, you know, interrupting the channel on is, uh, is pretty important. Boom! Big damage from Asmo. We're pushing him back. There's nothing they can do. Get out of here, Uther. My light beats your light. Your light is like a night light. And my light is like a... The sun. Um, yeah, I guess we're just not doing the easy stuff. Sylvanas going for the bottom camp here. Night camps are extremely hard for white main to do. Uh, even with the buddy, especially one who takes camps as slow as uh, Sylvanas. So what we're doing to try and mitigate that is putting two heals down and our uh, our talent at level 7 is going to increase our damage. Wow, that cleanse range is not much. Um, yeah, so anyway, the more heals we have, the more damage our auto attacks are doing. Uh, and I'll be honest, that was a little bit of a panic ult there to try and save Sylvanas. I didn't think she was going to make it. But now Yurel's here, and I would much prefer Yurel to Sylvanas for these shrine skirmishes. Oh, damn, eating all of that stuff. Except that second leaving combo. Can you believe it? Dodging it by just walking left. It's incredible. Picking up the dragon with relatively no contest from the enemy team. Four people in the bottom lane now for some reason. Dragon's in the middle lane. Uh, pecking away at the wall. And Yurel's leaving to go with the dragon. So seeing as how they were just four people bottom, she should have stayed bottom, kept pushing the lane up, and kept them on the fort so the dragon could get some damage of its own. But instead, we're focusing all of our shit on just this. I mean, let's be honest. What what really is, is all of this? What are we doing? We got a kill. That's great. But dragon's pretty much dead and we haven't taken the building which is the objective we have a Sylvanas in the top lane for some reason not super sure what for because that's a fort and the building that we're currently standing in front of is a keep so I mean can you can you kind of see what I'm talking about is it you know stuff Oh wow, getting swapped doesn't take you out of your, uh, your channel. That's interesting. Big miss on the stomp there, buddy. Way to go. Like the effort, at least. Gonna take the night camp, get it pushing in the top lane. Zag pushing out the bottom lane. Really, just, we should be running over the enemy team now as five, because we're 17 to 14. There's no reason... For us not to be as aggressive as possible. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing else we can really do here. Probably need to go get the night camp in the top lane. Maybe the giants? I mean, I guess Sylv's doing it, so that's the thing that's happening, but. Oh, God. It's these moments in the game where I'm just like, okay, does anybody else look at the top of the screen? Does anybody else read those numbers? 18 to 15 is a talent tier advantage, so that means we should be all up in the enemy team's business. But instead, we're taking a night camp, and we're probably not going to push with it because it's on the death bridge. And, uh,. That's just how this stuff works. It's a quick match in the middle of the weekend with absolutely zero rank function. Uh, 
got the root on him with our level 16 talent, the Harsh Discipline, but not a single amount of damage follow up by the Sylvanas until she was ready to go in kamikaze and kill herself completely. Love it. Urel pushing top with the camp. It's not 4 bot, it is 5 bot. There are all 5 people bottom. Don't let anyone ever tell you that that root is not super strong. When you're landing it on people, they are stuck there for a while. And they're going to reset the cooldown on your E. Like that, we now got a one second cooldown on our E. It's pretty fantastic. As long as you hit the second proc of your, your E ability, you're going to get it. Looks like you're dead, friend. Li Ming going in for the big one. Getting rooted after she sprays like a dumb person and uh, you know what I'll take it you got me you swapped it looks like Yorel got the camp all the way to the keep got some damage on it but didn't manage to stick with it long enough for it to mean anything oh boy it's like Artanis is getting a little bit slowed down by the tower shot but we're not going to go in after him enemy team still has three people in the bottom lane not sure what Urel is doing, sitting in that bush. Things can only go up from here, I mean down from here. We're 20 to 18. There is no reason for us not to be just super grouped, killing the shit out of the enemy team. Because all they want to do is fight. We have the better fight right now, so, like needs to happen. And yet Sylvanas is going for a camp. Let's watch her implode. Really good stuff. Uh, at level 20 I took the, the global heal. So I was just trying to get back on the mountain. Apparently I hit the button the mountain sprays. Like a thing. You know? You know what I'm saying? Dunks from Asmo looks like oh my god. Urel is going to make it out of there. Are we going to all die? Lay down the Divine Reckoning. Try to get some heals. Going to get silenced instead and blinded. And I'm not able to do anything else. Looks like that is all she wrote. Quite bad. Uh, enemy team didn't care a single solitary fuck about... <laughs> the uh the fort there they just ran completely past it like oh this is fine i guess this building's a problem but we're gonna get rid of it and we're just gonna kill your whole team <gasps> ah! now the enemy team has level 20 and uh, they are going to be using it to take down one of our buildings seeing as how bottom is the open lane it makes sense that this would be the one Another thing I would uh, suggest doing, if you are the person on your team who best knows how to pilot the Dragon Knight, um, meaning you don't eat a whole bunch of tower shots for no reason, uh, you push the wave with the dragon up, so you know you don't take unnecessary damage with the dragon. You don't walk the dragon through the enemy team uh, to certain death. I mean, lots and lots of stuff. Jaina goes down, a big dunk, kill litter. Sylvanas just going up and then right back down. Should be able to get the dragon out of here. Oh my god, team, can we just move forward, please? It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Yurel's up front there, knocking the Artanis back. He is dead. Getting him with the root. Still trying to go in. We got the keep. Woo minions. They're the most. I am the most confident in minions to do their job. It's fantastic. It's fun. It's one wonderful. Wonderful. There goes almost the whole wave. Pretty good. Trying to get him with the EW combo, but the root did not go off. Nothing we could do about that. 
Zach doesn't have the range talent for her banelings, so she just spat out a couple that kind of did nothing. Yurel eating all the damage, thinking that 50 armor is going to be enough to save her. Getting stunned right in the middle of it. Cleanse not enough to save her. I am going to die right behind her to the Li Ming combo. And uh, looks like Sylvanas was doing the camp. What you're seeing is me really, really frustrated with how all this stuff is working out. Down goes Zeg. Sylvanas is next. Looks like Asmo is number five. The good news is all the lanes are pushed really, really hard. So, this may end up being a keep for us? Nope. Artanis is on the clear. Nothing we could do, because we're all dead. Asmo not knowing what the team's doing, even though he has the exact same name as the guy who didn't show up to anything that was going on to him. Uh, I agree, though. I don't know why Jarell was full suicide into that uh, that building there. So, would you look at that? Li Ming doesn't get the channel because the catapult is great. But you know what? Then Jarell comes along and says, "I'm gonna fuck this up." I'm just. This is. This is how we fuck things up. Welcome to Weekend Hots, everybody. I'm going to do that thing that you know it's impossible for someone to be so bad at. Wow! Yeah, thanks! Ugh. Also, I don't like that URL build. That's the old URL build. Like, pick hammer talents, man. Hammer talents are fucking fun. They're good. Laying down the Divine Reckoning, putting some damage down. Dragon is going off whole hog on the core, but it doesn't have enough health. Ooh, getting him in the maw. Laying down some more damage on the boys who are suiciding into the core. Artanis is the next to go. Li Ming is getting out. She's trying to. Uther's coming back. I want the team ready to kill him. Nobody's on these catapults, though. So, uh... So, yeah. Somebody's gotta kill him. It's stupid that I'm the one killing them, but um, no, the uh, the the phrase you're looking for there, Asmo, is way to go, team. Because even though you did a whole bunch of damage, right, seventy-one. Artanis is doing more damage. Than you. Yeah, no, you can't take credit for that, buddy. That's called a rally at the end of all things where the game is over and then suddenly everybody comes together and understands oh you're beast that's and you're doing it really slow too so like I don't that seems terrible yeah whatever I guess people gotta do it right like hit that B button click that that lift Right click. You know what I meant. It's pretty late. I'm up uh, trying to get this one done in time. Oh my god, four deaths and s less healing than Uther. I suck at this character. Probably don't want to take Divine Reckoning. Um, the ability is just too... It's too aggressive. Uh, the... The other ultimate, the defensive ultimate, Scarlet Aegis, is... Uh, even though it's on a longer cooldown now, it's still putting out healing and armor. Whereas Divine Reckoning is just like, hey, here's a bunch of damage. Hopefully they stand in it. And that is, uh, that's one of those things that you want to make sure that you, you have a plan to use, right? You have to be on a good map for it. You have to have a good team comp for it. You have to have lots of stuff going right, so... Just random Divine Reckoning. Probably not a good call. Probably want to stick with Scarlet Aegis. And uh, we may have lived through a lot more of those engages. And at the very least, had a bigger, higher number. So, 
uh, healing number. Yeah, holy fuck, I'm going to bed now. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a junk rat coming. I just got to get it figured out. Uh, but other than that, have yourself a, a wonderful, great, wonderful day.